My report is on supervised person identification via multi-level classification. I'm Dong Kai Wang from Peking University. This is a joint work with my advisor, Professor Shi Liang Zhang. This is the outline of this report, so let's start with the introduction. Supervised person ID achieves high accuracy with labeled datasets. However, labeling person IDs in multi-camera video dataset is expensive. A line of work focuses on transfer learning. Suppose we have unlabeled dataset in target domain. Then we want to train model with source domain information, such as labeled dataset, good pre-trained model, or attribute information. Transfer learning based method suffers from domain gaps, and in application, source domain is still not easy to acquire. A supervised personal ID aims to learn discriminative features from unlabeled dataset. This kind of methods do not need ID information and are not limited by the source domain. We review some related work. First is unsupervised feature learning instance recognition that treat each image as a single class to train network. The issue is that IR does not explore the sample similarity, thus cannot reduce intra-class variance. In reality, some clustering-based method improved IR by updating pseudo labels using clustering. The problem is that during clustering, there exists noise accumulation. We start by treating each image as a single class. Different from IR, we assign multi-class label to each image that reflects the sample similarity, not single class label. On the other hand, different from clustering-based method, we predict multi-class label every iteration using the updated feature to avoid the noise accumulation. Next, I will give our approach in detail. Given unlabeled images, we assign them with a single class label to train initial model. Then we use the feature memory for multi-class label prediction. The updated model will be used to compute the loss and we then train the model. This process runs iteratively to boost the reality performance. So our method contains two parts, multi-class label prediction and the loss computation. For part one, MPLP utilizes the features in the memory for label prediction. We consider similar images in two aspects, feature similarity and neighborhood similarity. MPLP contains two steps. We rank images by similarity score. First, we remove the low similarity images, and we check each image by cycle consistency. In the last, we get the multi-class label according to the ID of final remaining images. There are some visualization results of MPLP. We plot the precision and the recall. Through training, MPLP achieves both high precision and high recall. The right figure shows some prediction results. Once we get multi-class label, we can use multi-label classification laws to train the model. However, traditional MCL has several issues in our setting. First is a gradient vanishment, just as figure shows. The next is the imbalance between positive and negative classes. Since one image may have a few similar images, but with thousands of dissimilar images. So we propose MMCL. We use L2 distance to compute the loss for solving gradient vanishment. To address the imbalance problem, we propose hard negative class mining to select a subset of negative classes into loss computation. We plot the gradient of two multi-level classification laws, and we can observe that gradient vanishment issue is addressed by MMCL. Then for experiment. We conduct experiments on Market and Duke. As the result shows, our method achieves state-of-art performance on a supervised setting. We also get comparable performance to transfer learning-based method. A similar result can be observed in MSMT. Our work gets best performance on a supervised setting and transfer learning setting. So in concluding, we formulate our supervised person ready as a multi-label classification task we propose MPLP and MMCL. They cooperate with each other to learn discriminative features. Our method is easy to implement and shows promising performance on three large-scale person-ready datasets. That's all. Thank you for your listening.